Okay, regarding the hypoglossal nerve uh, examination, which is the 12th uh, cranial nerve, I, really this nerve will be checked in the following sequences. First of all, I'll ask the patient to open his mouth. And I look really at the tongue in both sides to see whether there is any fasciculation or wasting. Really, as we said previously, the 10th cranial nerve and 7th cranial nerve, the same with respect to the deviation. And the 5th cranial nerve and the 12th cranial nerve is the same. The latter will be deviated toward the affected side. After that, I'll ask the patient to protrude his tongue and to see also an obvious wasting or any tremor and to look at the size, the vertical distance, the vertical depth. After that, really, we will check the bulk of the muscle بها هذا فلوينج من اوفر هسه من داخل حلقيت بلسانك وتضغط اصابعي عشت ايدك هنا انا عشت ايدك هاي ريلي وايد ذس تيست ذس تيست ذا بولك اوف ذا ماسل اند ذا سترينث اوف ذا ماسل اوف ذا تانك ريلي وين وي هاف جاست ون ليجن ون سايد افكتد There will be a likely to be an upper motor neural lesion. It is most likely lower motor neural lesion. So there will be wasting and fasciculation, and this will be obvious. When we have when they are bilaterally affected, which is common, especially due to vulvar palsy or pseudo vulvar palsy. When they are uh, bilateral affected due to upper motor neural lesion, this condition may occur in pseudo vulvar palsy, and we will see that the vertical depth of the tongue will be increased. So, the posterior pharyngeal wall will not be seen or just a small uh, distance or space can be seen from. While a patient who had bilateral lower motor hypoglossal nerve palsy, in case of vulvar palsy, the, we will see that the tongue is atroph atrophied and a wide area from the posterior pharyngeal wall will be uh, visualized. This occurs, as I said, in vulvar uh, palsy. And uh, really, the term uh, pseudo bulbar pulse and uh, bulbar pulse is very important to be uh, contrasted and notified, which uh, means that the lower cranial nerve, especially the 9th, 10th, 11th, uh, and 12th, uh, are bilaterally affected. If the process is that of lower motor neural lesion, this is what we call it bulbar pulse, while if it is due to bilateral. Uh, upper motor neural lesion. This process is uh, called pseudo-bulbar pulse, and we have uh, differences in the form of Joger and uh, uh, the speech and so on. The candidate should also uh, carefully look for the uh, causes and the feature of both of uh, these uh, clinical conditions.